Hey guys, Cryptic Grifter here and welcome to the next round of my Tiger Woods PGA Tour 14 Season 2. Just about to get into the Zurich Classic of New Orleans and as you can see the next tournament that I'm going to be playing after this one is the Players' Championship. And even though it is not a major, it's considered the fifth major so I will be playing that tournament as a proper full four round event. so let's get into this and for those of you that do watch my videos thanks very much for that I haven't been on in about a week and I haven't recorded a video in about a week I've had quite a bit going on outside of Xbox um, been away for a few days um, three-day golf break playing uh, playing some golf myself so um, it's good to be back and um, I hope you enjoy the video of the Zurich Classic it's part of the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. The TPC Louisiana has been the host to the Zurich Classic now for a number of years. A glorious final four-hole stretch All right, Polter, 12 here, under a daunting par through 18. Finish that can so we've bring got some you really, eagle really good scores here today. Bogey. Looks like we're teeing off last. Shed load of wind as well. So this is going to be an interesting tournament. Wow. And not off to a good start. Can't believe that didn't go in the bunker. It landed on the tiniest piece of grass. All right, lucky to get it on the green there, I think. Way too easy out of the rough. Yeah, so as I said, I've been away on a golf break. Absolutely, uh, I don't know how the pros do it. I mean, they must. Have, I know they don't carry their own bags, and I know they um, they play an awful lot less shots. But I uh, came Ray back pounds. last night absolutely shattered. Um, nice birdie. I uh, my yeah, came back absolutely old. shattered. Three rounds in three days. Um, not an awful lot of golf. Only 18 holes a day, but. Um, I felt like I felt like I played at the end of the three days. I uh, was a bit tired, to say the least. It's good to be back on Tiger, and hopefully, I'm going to get three or four rounds well, up in quick right succession. There, uh, so right there, good you'll nice probably shot. see the start and the end of this round fairly smartly, because I do want to get into the Players Championship, because um, I'm really keen to get that. Um, that one played and recorded and up online because I do think the um, the majors are a lot more interesting, especially to watch as well. David, what's the situation? I'm thinking about 90 yards. One feet uphill. We have got some wind. Not far to go, so I'm not entirely sure this is going to make too much of a difference. Still going to give it a good hit and hopefully the wind will pull it down, which it I didn't. I can't believe what I just saw. Uh, I still maintain that 100 yards and under the wind has hardly any effect whatsoever. Do absolutely right on target. That should give us an opportunity at a birdie. Short putt here, Jim. This shouldn't be a problem. This one. To maintain the position. Now par is nice a pretty par. good score here today. Wow. Three, two, three, four, on five. Yeah. Here's a look at the current standings. Wrong. That's me clubbing up two clubs and I'm still coming up short. Get in. Nice. Birdie. Oh, I've got some work to do to catch these guys on 12 under. Here's a look back at last week's tournament. Absolutely result. smashed that last week. 
Yeah, we had a uh, awesome weekend of sport while I was away, so that was good as well to uh, go away and play golf and also watch some great sport on the telly. We had the Open Championship, which Phil Mickelson won, and that was uh, really good, really, really there interesting golf, really, really tight, um, not low scores. Um, you know, guys still hovering around one under par, one over for the last, moving into the last round. It was, uh, it was good stuff, nice to watch. And uh, for those of you that follow cricket, we had the Ashes where we, in the second test, once again, we absolutely smashed the Aussies. Couldn't have asked for something much better than that. So yeah, we are now two up in the series, the five test match series, and um, looking good to retain the Ashes. And this one is for Birdie. Okay, that'll work. All right, so three under through four. So we're on track now and we're going along nicely. Check out the top performers in the tournament so far to this point. All right, wind's behind, so we've got to be really, really careful here. Just gotta hope I get over those trees. Please, God, get up there. Yep. Just gonna get over the bunker. Oh no! Yo, that was close. Over one, almost into the other. All right. So this shouldn't go too far past. Going with the lob wedge. Good stuff. Lands eight feet from the flagstick on the green, and it's a birdie chance coming up. All right, so we are going along nicely now. Birdied all but one of the first five holes. And the wind is posing a problem, but... Um, not an unbearable one. If it was up near 20, 30 miles an hour, I think we'd be in a bit of bother, but this is okay. This is manageable. Well, this is a beautiful shot, Jim. You put it right in the fairway. Oh, 215 yards and a stonking wind from the left, from the right, sorry. And uh, this should be a four iron, I believe. And yes, it is. That needs to come back. I need the wind to start working now. Come on. All right, He'll put it a bit too far out. It's going to lead me a, about a 20 foot putt, I think. There's not an awful lot of movement in the Ready to conquer this hole. This for birdie. Yeah. Count it. Write it down. It's not. Um, the greens aren't too tough in this, so I'm quite happy with the way this is going at the moment. Awesome drive. Look at that. It's 360 yards. That's what we need. 190 yards left, no less, no more, right on the number. Needs to slow down now. Bite into the bank. Lovely. You are looking at not his A game, his A++ game. I was about to say, this must be a par five, which it is. Got a nice eagle chance here to give us an eagle attempt. Bridge that big gap at the top. Oh, lips out. Tough break. That was a good putt. 
That's six under for the tournament. Okay, so we've played seven and we're six under. I think twelve under is probably got to, it's got to be the highest score I've seen for a AI player in this game since I've been playing. That's a nice Fine little chip onto the green Jim. now for a uh, birdie chance. Oh, just when you want to kick left, it gets kicked right. So I right, think about five feet. Between five and ten feet on the round here today. In this at all. Birdie. So let's just ping this in. Seven under par for the tournament. When I first saw the wind, I Update thought it was going to be tough, but it hasn't proven season. to be too tough. But I think that's because there's not a lot of movement in the greens. The wind is, well, um, is the wind's today. quite. This is a 200 yard shot. It's, it's given me a little bit of a challenge, but nothing that's going to give me too much of a headache. It's more the uh, get up. Can't beat these players for the tournament. Yeah, the greens are fairly flat, so I don't think I'll have too much of a problem. This round. Stuff. Sinks the putt for yeah, I think the only problem I'm going to have is if I um, make a grave error and end up in the drink. Here's how he's been playing so far. Nine down, nine to go. Fairways and greens. Uh, hook that one. Just as I say, fairways and greens. Oh, oh I thought That's we were just going to hold the fairway there, hole. but we didn't. Just run into the light rough. 105 yards, four uphill. There is going to be a bit of move. Sand wedge, 54 degrees. Bit too strong. That's all right. Checked up nicely. Looking for from that distance. Good stuff. Put that on the card as a birdie. Right, at this rate, we're going to be way ahead at the end of round number one. Here's how eleven has been playing for the tournament. 14 eagles, so this has been playing really easily. Look at that, 96 birdies, 13 pars. So everybody's been playing this, almost everybody's been playing this under par. If you can drive your golf ball like that with consistency, you can always score. I don't think we're going to get there in two. No, we're most certainly not going to get there in two. Has anything changed? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. It's under 100 yards, so this is going to test my theory. Yeah, see, no effect at all. That's a great shot, landing close to the flagstick. Seven feet well, for birdie. This is where you need to keep a positive mental attitude, Jim. Uh, which I always had. I knew I was. Oh, you've got to be kidding! That didn't move at all. Yeah, more than three, less than five. Let's call it four. It's another par. Only two holes are parred in this round thus far. Have been par fives, which is terrible because they're the birdies and the eagle opportunities that you should be able to capitalise on. Round nicely, which it is. Now that's the way you play golf. These are my two. 
two iron. Get up. That leaves me a monster putt for birdie. That's about seven inches. Break from the left. For the birdie. Distance is almost perfect. That's one you'd like to have over. More break than I anticipated, so we're going to get another par here. We sort of stagnated in the last couple of Played holes. Right into the sweet spot as he got his par. leg left so that is pushing it out so there's the green there is this drivable with this wind with a try methinks normally ends up in trouble but I'm gonna give it a whirl yeah, not far off. I think if the wind was a couple of miles an hour stronger, that is a drivable green. It's a bit strong, I think. A fine shot from there. Not strong enough. All right, so we're going to get a birdie here. That's going to help. And that one oh, drops two pars, we're back on track. Two shots off the lead with about five to play. Thirteen, yeah, we've got five to play. Wow, look at that. Look at that camera tower in the background there. That's crazy. Get down now, get down. Well, on that one, about 25 feet from the hole. Tough putt for a birdie because uh, it's going to be on the slope birdie, as well. It's so seven inches downhill, so it's going to race on a bit. And there's a bit of movement right to left. Now for birdie. Get in. Ooh. A good chance goes by the wayside. And on any given Sunday, you'd make 90% of these. This for par. They continue to chase down points in the race for the FedEx Cup, and here is how they stand. Excellent start off the tee. In 61, so the wind is going to impact here. Looks like the pitching wedge from here. The wind did Dialed its job, shot just wasn't was far enough to the left. Eight feet remaining for birdie. This for birdie. All right. 11 under par for the Gets within turn. one. Three holes to play. So we're not going to be a million miles away from the rest of the group come, and come their last hole. That's the main fun. thing. When you can hit it off the tee like that. Much. Only 80 feet. So it's just a pitch up there. You see? It? Oh, that's okay. Just that's what okay. You were for. Brendan de Jong and Poulter hit every single green. That's impressive. I wonder if they had the same wind as. We have a share of the lead after that great shot. The 
definitely we should be in with a birdie chance on the 18th. Oh man, look at this. Jesus. If we mess this up, we're in trouble. Oh my god. I thought I was in shit there. at par. Now par is a pretty good score here today. Right, so if we don't do anything special on the par fives, which Let's we haven't done so far, 54 birdies, 67 pars, two bogeys, no eagles. All right, so we don't think we're going to get an eagle. But um, let's aim for a birdie so we can take a one-shot lead into the final round. So it gives us a good chance to get on the green the for two. Way. That makes this a very short hole. 224. Need to drop this down a little. Flags right in. F okay, taking a swipe of the four iron here. Kick left. Kick left. Oh, not kick on. Kick left. And now a quick look at the leaderboard. There is some mileage to cover to sink 46 this feet. Telling me there's some mileage. All right, so we've got this for an eagle. So I think this is just a case of lagging it up close. If we can. This is for eagle. And taking the birdie and moving on. Or... Ooh, I thought we were going to get the eagle there. All right, so let's take the birdie and take a one-shot lead. After that hole, we have a new leader on the course. We were last out, so the simulation should be fairly quick. 28 on the front, a little bit patchy on the back, 31 on the back, so 13 under for the round, which is always respectable. Skip the simulation. Yeah, we were last out pretty much. So we take a one-shot lead, score of 59 on that round. There's a lot of guys within a couple of strokes here, so anything can happen all the way down to there, all the way down. Yeah, there's a few guys there that can give me a problem in the second round. And the current cut is six under par. That's incredible. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I will see you on the next round. Thanks for all the likes. And if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button now. I'll be sure to get some more videos up shortly. Thanks. Bye.